All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Ravenfield. So this is the fourth map in a series that is made by Fifth Smell. This is from Project Altiris, which is depicting what he's calling the Second Leersog War. It's kind of like an alternative history of, like, maybe World War II, right? So he's made the Battle of Serzieg Bridge, the Mountain Passage, and the Breach of Kittermore. Those were the first three maps. This is a long-awaited fourth and final- well, maybe not final- well, never mind. Not- definitely not the final map. Please let it not be so. He's actually said he's working on another one. But this is the relief of Saint Liven, or Leven. So let's go ahead and grab a plane. Oh my god, these may interfere negatively with the others, but I'm gonna get up into the air. These are models. Guys, these aren't actual planes. <laughs> but I want to fly planes, Daddy! Daddy, would you like some sausage? First, in right, first to fight. I don't know, I'm gonna get this third plane, let the everybody else take off first. I'll follow them to the objective. The objective's pretty cool. Sir, get off the plane! Watch out for the- Well, hey man. Whatever. Alright, how are we doing? Ooh, there's another- Ooh, those are the bomber planes over there. Twin engine, really cool looking canopies. It looks like they've got a nose gunner. Let's see if we can't get a little bit closer. Not too close, mind you. But so we're taking up into the air. We are going to be attacking the incoming convoy of enemy ships. That's what this is all about. This is creating a scenario we have not seen yet. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Honestly, this kind of reminds me of War Thunder. This very, very much reminds me of War Thunder. So, the recommended bots were only 70. I think there was another airfield. Oh, look at that. The city's back there. I'm following these planes, so right now, this is almost like a... Whoa! I'm seeing some ships on the horizon, guys. Okay, so these ships are... Con it's a convoy. This is a moving convoy of enemy... Like, this... Enemies. I was gonna say enemy players, but... Since they're AI, they're enemy combatants. And look at that, they are maneuvering right now. Oh my gosh, they're moving. They're definitely moving in convoy. They look like supply ships, right? Well, they are carrying supplies, they're carrying troops. They're from this island fortress that was captured by the enemy, and they need to make it all the way to that city. So the goal here, they do have some enemy fighters up right now. Look at that, you can see one of them in a dogfight with one of us right now. I'm gonna have to get into first person. Oh my god, he just went down. My guys are flying high right now. This is good. Whoa, there's a flag point. What's going on? Fifth Smell, you have created some magic right here. I mean, I'm having nostalgic flashbacks to playing War Thunder. Look at this. I mean, this is the stuff I always wanted. Oh, that ship looks like it's on fire. The bomber plane is going down. There's any aircraft guns on these transport ships. I do have to be mindful of that. I see a monoplane over there, and I know that my faction does not have monoplanes, so... Oh my god, I'm getting torn up by flak fire right now. And no, not my favorite Battlefield streamer and YouTuber. Actual flak fire. I might have to go back and repair. Like, this... The... I, I kinda need to... Oh my god, there's a lot of enemy planes coming out. Oh god, don't, don't look at me. Don't even look at me. He wants some of it. He's hungry. Oh, there's someone. Oh, no. Okay. So, there's the island. I'm trying to get a good viewpoint of it. You know what? We gotta go down. Alright, look at it. We're gonna take off again. It takes a little bit of time, but it kind of increases... Oh, man. Look at that little monoplane. That thing looks... looks fast. That is a cool little island. We're gonna play this from both sides. I'm gonna see if I can't get in a bomber to take out these transports. But I love how this whole map is designed. These look like torpedo bombers. So the cool thing about Project Altiris, um, is that there's... I've got, like, custom weapons right here, but this is like a vehicle-centered one. These look like almost dive bombers or torpedo bombers, possibly? Look at that, you can see the rear machine gun, right? There's the pilot, there's the rear gunner. If it's twin seat like this with a rear gunner, you can definitely assume... And it's not a biplane like those fighters over there, right? Biplane meaning two wings. One and two. This one just has one monoplane. Oh, wow. That thing sounds like a freaking buzzsaw. 
And look at these guys. All of us have, what, pilot helmets on, I'm assuming? Alright, boys, best of luck. Man. That sounds amazing. Alright, so if we check the map, you can see the transport planes, and they- I'm a, assuming they have to get to this objective over there. We're gonna need to fly through this. This is the best map as far as scenarios go. No other map I've seen. That's not to say they don't exist. I've just not seen them. If they do exist, let me know what maps they are below, and I'll check them out. But I've not seen anything approach the game like this. Alright, so here's the spawn-in, right? You can see uh, Raven's Island over here. The boats are going on a predetermined path. I don't know how that is possible, but they are. This is some advanced stuff. Now, the cool thing about the Project Alteris is we've got ten custom weapons. One, two, three, four, five, right? I'm gonna pick the sniper rifle. Then we've got two secondaries, so six, seven. I'll pick the automatic one. And then when we go to this, we've got three more. So there's ten custom weapons. I'm gonna go ahead and prick the, uh... Frag grenade. Not that it matters on this map. When I go to select this, we actually spawn here. This is some genius, and look at this. We've got- we've got a little bit of history there, like, okay, I actually respawned because I wanted to get the bomber plane. But it didn't work. Alright, so I restarted it so that I got pole position. Look, everyone's gonna spawn in a few seconds late. But if I sit there and pick my weapons, then normally... Oh gosh, look at this thing. It- Oh, there's some guy on the bomb site. He's just... Alright, who's my rear gunner? Oh god! Okay. So here we go, we've got a full complement, we've got the guy on the bomb site, we've got the nose gunner, and then we've got kind of, I guess you'd say, the dorsal rear-facing gunner. It's not like a turret, like, um, you'd see in Bomber Crew, right? Because that's probably a game you guys are very familiar with. And I know you guys- who wants to see more Bomber Crew? Let me know if you want to see more Bomber Crew. Because I've got a surprise for you guys coming very, very soon. I hope you guys are gonna be excited for it. Alright, I mean, so what I love about this mod, like, let's just- We need to appreciate what this is. I think it's the best mod out there. Um, the interesting thing is there's only about ten custom weapons, which we just reviewed. But right here you see the fighter plane, the dive bombers, and then the medium bomber, you'd say. You know, twin engine would be medium if it was, like, four engines, or depending on the bomb load. It would probably- oh my god, do I not have bombs? Okay, I do have six bombs. Yeah, this would definitely be classified as, like, a medium bomber, maybe even a light bomber. But, so we've got three custom vehicles right here. We've got one of the most unique spawn systems in that I'm supposed to protect that objective, but we spawn out here on the airfield, right? Now we fly over all of this, and it's- it's nice and simplified, just as- I mean, I gotta wonder if this guy ever played the game War Thunder. Or other games similar to that, where you take off, like, good lord. Ravenfield could do that, man. I'm- I mean, jeez, ge man. Like, this is nuts. Alright, so I'm a little bit ahead. The fighters- I'm gonna let the fighters- okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to line these guys up. You can see the planes spawning in over here, just off my left wing. And the transport planes- excuse me, transport ships, we'll call it- let's just call them Liberty Ships for simplicity. Assuming they, you know, because they look very, very similar to most transport ships, but some of the very distinctive ones, you know, and recognizable ones, the Liberty Ships were the ones the United States made during World War II, and they could produce, like, you could build a whole ship in, was it a day or a week? It was some ridiculous number that basically just showed, hey, if war's a numbers game, America's gonna outproduce you in ships, and the Russians were definitely outproducing in tanks and armored vehicles. But man, yeah, like, this is the best. Like, the interesting thing, though, what I was trying to get at before I ADD'd hard because I'm so excited right now, is that... Okay, I'm trying to line them up. Oh my gosh, man, this is just like... Alright, now we go into the bombing view. <laughs> Don't you love it? Now, I'm gonna have to leave this target. Alright, see if any of those bombs hit. Oh, I wish I could go to bomb view, because you can kind of see them. That may have been early, we'll see. We're, we're gonna get a hang for it, this is my- Ooh, that's- Wait. Oh, baby. The first one? Oh, right amid ships. Carpeting amid ships, and then- Okay, one landed before it, and one landed after it. So out of the six bombs I had, four hit their targets. I'm trying to stay high above, so the flak- Oh my gosh, I'm already at 50% health. 
So at this point, what would be really cool for Ravenfield to have, because it could unlock an entirely new way to play, would be I go back, land at the hangar, and repair. Right now, there's no real landing. But look at this. I mean, I've got a crew of four. Like, three other men's lives are hanging in the balance. So we're gonna rearm. Oh my god, we're going down! Gentlemen, everybody out! Wait, oh, I should have L'd and told him to parachute, but literally there's nowhere to go. Those poor guys, look at- there's the gunner. And the bombardier, and the two gunners and the bombardier. Did I, oh, did I get finished off by the enemy fighters? So look at that. Those are the four ships. I'm gonna try to make a run again on that first ship. I'm gonna try a dive bomber this time. The enemy fighters are flying and covering. Okay, there's the big medium bombers going out already. We're gonna have to wait. Oh my god. It just spawned in. Should we- should we do it? I guess we should. Well, I wanted to fly the dive bomber. There's time to do it. Alright, so I'm holding S right now, so we don't take off, but I don't have any crew members- Oh, and there's the dive bomber. I need- I need gunners. Gentlemen, stop staring into the hangars blankly like you're gonna find some sake and crumpets in there. We're not gonna find either of those things. Both of which are delicious, so I think I only need two crew members, actually. So we're gonna head out here, we're gonna make another run in the medium bomber. I do have to say, that this feels like an actual battlefield. Alright, here we go. I got both that guys, and I like that. That character is modeled in to make it look like there's more going on. This guy's a genius. And I'm, I'm assuming it's a team. I don't know, I need, to, I need to do my due diligence and research this a little better. But like, whoever's in charge, and whoever's actively participating in the Project Alteris mod, you guys just made Ravenfield history right here. And you made me an incredibly happy guy. I saw this, I was about to make another video on a different topic entirely, and you're gonna see that in like probably two days from now. Probably Saturday or Sunday. Um, oh, like, I am literally, I like, I'm impressed. This is the best mod ever. This is, without a doubt, the best mod. Now, I may be talking too soon, but this is a battlefield. This is a battle that's gonna take its sweet time. These ships have to get all the way there, and our task is to destroy them. My goal is to try to kill one or two. You can see fires starting. I've got no offensive armament of my own. So another thing would be cool. Oh my gosh. Like, you've got to be kidding me, boys. This is just glorious. I, uh, I feel like I'm just fanboying so hard right now because this is combining two of my favorite games. It's it's literally it, it really feels like it's combining War Thunder and uh, Ravenfield. It's it's crazy. So what I'm trying to do is fly so I'll attack that first ship and be able to carpet bomb it. Now I'm actually not sure of my altitude right now, so that would definitely oh my gosh you can see the other side of the channel. Or I guess, is this a harbor entrance? I'd need to see the map a little bit better. I don't know where they're going. Are they going over here? Are they coming to the mouth of the mouth of this bay? The mouth of the bay. I mean, I could I could do a YOLO drive. Uh, I, I, sometimes my words don't come out right. I don't know. I, I swear it's because I talk to a monitor all day. <laughs> it's the truth. But yeah, man, this is this is a battlefield right here. Dun 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 dun. Only in Ravenfield. I tell you what, you're not getting these experience in, in the in the new battlefield games. All right. This is not a bad line to get. So now we're gonna go bomber mode, and I'm guessing by the altitude that I might want to drop, like, now. That could be totally off. Oh man, we're, we're getting hit hard. Oh! I disabled cargo ship! Okay, I, I didn't slow down time to check it out, but it looks like most of my bombs found their mark. It was a pretty good run. That ship has, quote, been disabled. Now, this bomber's gonna get disabled. I'm gonna try to get- Oh, I was gonna say I was gonna try to get my boys home. But that is not the case. I'm gonna do this for fun. Let's just, like, take a look and appreciate what is going on right here. So- Oh, there's one of my other guys! He's parachuting too! Where's the other ship? Did it sink? Am I blocking it? Is it not rendering in? Look at the rear gunner shooting at a plane! This is awesome! Oh, the plane just went down. Alright, we're gonna respawn. Look at this! Okay, so here's the strategic map right now. <laughs> Look at all of these planes. 
All oh my gosh, it's it's just it's just glorious. Let's go. Let's get back to base. Oh man, there's one of my other guys. All right, my goal now is to get into a dive bomber. I like the fighters, but honestly, like whenever I fly a plane in a game like this, I've always loved the idea of being the guy. Was it Hans Ulrich Rudel or what was his name? There was a there was a, a German pilot who flew, I think it was Stukas, and he was just like and one of the aces. He was one of the aces that, that focused more on like flying from the air and attacking the ground. All right, so I need a co-pilot. We're gonna wait for this guy to make the run all the way over here. This is where I wish I had a fast forward button. Cause I need a rear gunner. Soldier! Come on! Come on, buddy! You've been called up to the big leagues. Wait, what kind of gun do you have? What? You shouldn't have that gun. <laughs> Alright, we got our rear gunner. So, let's see. Oh, this is nice. The bomb loads... So, the scenario here, right? This whole, um... I gotta check the map, actually. There's two ships. I think the other two were knocked out. Now they're gonna be way over here. Gotta be honest, guys. When you play a map like this and you see the raw potential... Part of me gets so, so excited. And part of me gets a little sad and somber because... Because, guys, it's no- there's no multiplayer. Alright, I'm speeding up, and I'm gonna level out, so I fly- I'm gonna get to the target a little more directly. I'm gonna aim this way, I'll let you know when we get to the ships. Like, imagine right now, I'm flying in formation. I've got- Let's see, there's two of us dive bombers, and then there's one to three fighters. But they're you guys. You guys are escorting me, and flying with me. And we're going on this run, and one of the other people in Baron's Brigade, there's four different captains on those four supply ships. And then they've got the enemy air wing in the air flying, you know, uh, cover. Like, ah, oh, man, I want it. This map reminds me, man. It's nostalgia. Gosh. This is like all the things that I wanted to do in other games, but was never there, and now I get to see it in a modded map for Ravenfield. Like, I must be losing my mind. Alright. I don't know if these are bombs or what. I don't know if they're rockets. So... We're speeding up. Maybe I was going a little slow. I'm not sure. I'm assuming we need a dive bomb. Oh, look at that little AA gun. Eww! Oh, there's the bombs. Alright, I made direct contact with both bombs. We did good. The plane is still flyable. Oh my god, the flat gun! Here I am saluting them with my little wing waggle. And we're probably gonna go down. That ship is on fire, baby. Will it sink? That's the one thing. What happens when the ship dies? Oh, it's sinking! Yeah! Alright, so don't worry. We're gonna see what happens when the ships get to the base because I'm gonna take over for the enemy team. For the enemy team. The red team. But this reminds me of the Siege of Malta. When the Brits were holding Malta and uh, the Italians and Germans had a stranglehold um, on the supply lines. And then they, the Brits had to make a very desperate convoy run. Alright. That flat gun, if it looks at us, we're dead. Alright, he's distracted by, it looks like one of the other dive bombers. There is a fighter. Alright. I don't know where those bombs are going. Oh, man. Oh! We got the last hit. Look at that, baby. Disabled the cargo ship. The convoy attack. My rear gunner's going ham right now. I want to see the thing sink. There she goes, baby. Oh, my God. So now the enemy has no hope. Right? Let's fly over. Look at this gunner. I love this. I mean, uh, you know, uh, uh, yeah, I'm dying, but you know what? But the dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had. Mad world. Oh, that sound effect, though. That plane sounds really good. And it kind of does remind me of maybe, like, you know, the Italian style planes. Okay, wow, look at that. Look at the air battle happening. Are you not? I mean, come on. This is just flat out glorious. I'm gonna get in a fighter and we're gonna fly over the facility. 
And then I'm going to set the game over and choose the other team. And I'm going to be flying escort. And we're going to get our convoy to where it needs to go. Look at, I mean, when I look at the map, there's a giant dogfight over the point. They seem to be meeting there. Hey, baby. There you are, gorgeous. Um, pilots are parachuting out. See, here's another thing. If this was multiplayer, what you could do, right, is you'd want to work on supply lines. So maybe you'd make it so only certain players or certain classes, right? You have to choose, like, an infantryman or, like, you know, a naval officer or something like that. But there'd also be something else. Like, look at the map. Right now, you're seeing the little triangles indicating that there are pilots who have parachuted and landed on the field. They may be skirmishing right now, but someone's going to need to send a truck over there and pick up the pilots and bring them back to fly again. And that could happen. I love this game. All right, so there is a, ca a flag point over there. Oh, the enemy, since they lost all ships, they lost their quote-unquote flag. Or... They lot. I don't know what's happening. So this is the city they have to get to. And look at that canal or river. I guess it's... Yeah, it's a river for sure. So here's the city. It was... Mmm. It's simplified, right? But when you think about what was accomplished right now... If I'm those guys over at Project Alteris, I'm happy in knowing that I made the coolest scenario for a mission ever in Ravenfield. Ever. Steel Raven, I love what you've done with this game. I think you need to hit these guys up, in my most humblest and ever enthusiastic of opinions. <laughs> Look at this baby. Da -da 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 -da. They're, they're synced to fire through the propeller. How come the bullets don't kill the propeller? They're synced so that they won't do it, right? Or at least historically they are. Okay. So we'll do a quick flyover over our airfield. I like even even that little touch of just those three planes sitting there looking cool and snazzy. Eagle captured Air Sog Island. I don't want to check it out as a, as an eagle team. I want to be a raven. Let's check out this dogfight. The dogfight has. Can we can we can can we please can we please have fifth smell and team? Can we please have more maps like this? This is one of this. Uh, you know, you get it. You get it. I'm excited. Wahoo! Another beta branch, baby! All right, now it's time to play the other team. I'm gonna be flying fighter escort. Now I've got pretty good weapons. If I get shot down over enemy territory, why are these guys so fast? I need to outrun them so I can get to the enemy. F uh, the, not the enemy. They're they're mine now. Look at how big these ships are. It's interesting seeing them from the sky. You know, and then, and then, you know, flying over them and dropping bombs and even doing dive bombing. They never seem this big. But when you're an infantryman on the ground, on, and when there's boots on the ground looking up at that ship, there it is taking off. All right, I got to get to these fighters. These things are monoplanes. These things are definitely snazzier looking than the enemy's planes now, than the blue team's planes. Oh, my gosh. We've got, like, look at this. There's jeeps over there. This is, like... A freaking glorious thing. Listen to the propeller sounds. Sorry, buddy. Beat you to it. Now I'm going to slow down a little bit and then accelerate and fly with my boys. I wish this was Baron's Brigade right here. And we have our custom server. It looks like my wheels are locked in, so I won't be able to turn that off. So I'm going to make a beeline here and try to intercept. And in fact, I'm going to try to get altitude. So that I can drop in. Oh my god, you can see the enemy planes already arriving. Okay, so I need to find the bomber. I think I see it. I think I see a twin-engine bomber right now. Instead of going for the fighters, I gotta go for the thing that's gonna tear us up more. So here we go. Oh man, our machine guns even are better. Oh god. I got a guy on my 6 o'clock and I got torn up. That's two enemy fighters? Boys, we going down. I've got to protect these ships, but it's not looking good. Boom. Wow. I actually survived that impact. Look at these. Look at these three. Ah! <laughs> I was hoping that happened. Look at that, man. I sunk a plane with my even in death. All right, here we go. We're back on the island. That guy's still chilling there waiting for the plane I took from him. Sorry, dude. You got to get over it. It's like if a girl doesn't like you and likes someone else, like you got to get over it. Get on the next one. Get on the next plane. 
All right, let, I gotta check the map. How many? All right, we have all four ships still. Look at the flak. Oh my gosh, they're doing. You can see that it looks like. Oh baby, that one is. Here we go. Let's fly. Now I'm gonna get a closer look at this convoy by being able to fly right next to it. Unless that's a bomber plane, and then I'm gonna deviate. Hey boys! Oh my god. Imagine if he, so he was saying that what he wanted to do was incorporate a lot There's a backstory and then kind of like how he wanted things to go Right so as we're looking at this convoy here They wanted to add escort and attack boats ground targets like coastal artillery for raven to attack with their own bombers and more detail like that But um, he's saving that effort for quote future projects and more maps in the future. I think this is a test I mean, it clearly is, right? I'd have to say that, at least on my end, it's a very successful test. So here comes the second wave of planes. You can see them popping up right now. That that pilot is shooting at me. All right, this is the dive bomber. Oh, gosh. We got to not let them get on. Oh, there's one guy chasing us. Evasive maneuvers. I wish, I wish the flying mechanics were better so I could do maneuvers. Oh, shoot. Call me Sally. I'm gonna die. All right, I've got to take out one of them though. Oh, there's the big boy big boy bomber enemy fighter his rear or his dive bomber I'm getting some hits cuz you got to lead your target. There he goes. He's going down. Oh Shoot, I'm going down too. Beedoo. Beedoo. Let's parachute. Where's he at? Any aircraft fire? Oh, can I land on the boat? Ah! La 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 <laughs> That's another thing that they've got to figure out if you ever- Oh my god. Well. Wait a minute, I thought I saw- There's something- There's something in the water? Over here? Is there a boat still here? No. Hold on. If you look on the map very closely, it looks like there's a vehicle. And I thought it may have been a boat. Oh, I can get in it, but I can't drive it. Wait, no, I'm not in the driver's seat. Alright, now I'm in the driver's seat. Ah! <laughs> What? <laughs> Ayuga! Ayuga! Boys, I got the Ayuga! Ayuga! Hey, let me wish you well! Do those vehicles work? I gotta be careful not to hit any planes that spawn. I don't think so because they're not on the map. I think they're just props. But so the thing about this kind of thing, and I think my FOV's out of whack, is. Well, imagine if a plane landed and need to be refueled. Oh, wow. All four planes respawned, and here's mine. We are down to two ships. This seems to be the same spot. This is about the same spot that, um... Oh, man, the bomber's coming in right now. You can see on the map. He's got a plane on him. Oh, he disappeared. Assuming he... No, he reappeared on the map. Okay, so people just lost vision on him, I guess? Oh, he's making a great run on that ship. He's looking right under my right wing. If you don't know where to look, oh man, that's bad. As you can see, our location real far from the convoy. This is a big map. Big, big map. Oh, the, the bomber plane went down. One of our ships just got destroyed. All the people on board are now in the water. Only one ship left, and we've maybe made one-third of the journey, but we only have 25% of the surviving convoy. Maybe some escort ships would be needed. I, I think that this should be updated. It's just too good not to. You know? There's there's the ship finally on the horizon. Oh, that's... Was that an enemy plane? Let's see. I'm seeing one enemy plane on my radar right now. And I think it's this guy. Oh, man. But being able to, like... Having no real, like, quote-unquote flight models that are, like, realistic means... Flight will always be kind of difficult. Oh man, that guy got me good. Here come the supporting cast. I should be with the bomber. I mean, excuse me, not the bomber, the transport plane. Oh my god, really? He's hungry. Oh shoot, that was another one! We're going down. I'm gonna try to play as a ship. I don't know how this works. I don't know how to get on the ship. If it's like any vehicle, I should be able to just swim next to it. Look at all these guys. They seem to know what they're doing. They're all going for this ship, I think. Alright, I'm the driver. 
Everybody on board. So I've got... Oh, look at that. So, if you look closely, I've got, um... A single-barreled autocannon at the front. Or maybe it's just a deck gun. Or a, or a twin purpose, you know, the deck gun that turns into the big flak. We've got twin machine guns about midships. And then in the aft portion, I wish we had more anti-aircraft guns. But, um, we've got kind of the Japanese-style four autocannon or heavy machine gun gun with the uh, magazine sticking out the top. And, oh man, they're like, so... I did... I don't know, man. I'm just taken aback at the... The level of detail... That goes in... To everything that the, that's here. It's just so impressive. I do wish I had a fast-forward button. If this was multiplayer with comms, though, like... And it, and it actually, like, Ravenfield had a system where, like, right now, I, you can't land. Like, wouldn't it be cool if an enemy pilot could parachute and actually land and then fight through the ship? And the... And troops on the ship were actually on there. That's one of- Oh my god, are you kidding me? That was the deck gun firing. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> oh god, there's the bomber plane! We gotta dodge bombs! Oh! They missed! He missed! Oh my god! He didn't miss too much. I need- I need escort ships. I guess I'm kind of going out of formation here. Deck guns even firing at those those guys. Oh my god. Oh shoot, that means dive bomber. I hit the brakes. I hit the brakes and did some evasive maneuvering. Oh god, here comes another dive bomber. Serpentine, baby! Ooh! <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm definitely breaking formation, but see, see, the bots go in a straight line. I do not. Luckily, they're kind of targeting me, so it may keep the other three ships alive. I may go down, but if I can survive much longer than the other ships would... See, I'm making myself a more difficult target to hit. I mean, like, obviously, right? But, like, doing those squirrely maneuvers, it's like... You guys would be on board, and you'd be like, Baron! Enemy time bomber coming out the top! Three o'clock! And then right as I'm accounting for that, someone else is like, Heavy bomber up high! And I'll be like, oh my god! And then whoever's on the AA guns, oh wait, did we- We just lost the two machine- What the heck is that? We're having some audio issues. We- It looks like we lost the two machine gunners. I think when the medium bomber did his little strafing run, he may have taken them out. Okay, that- that's- that's a dive bomber. So now we're gonna do this. Oh, he got taken- they both got taken out. Oh, shoot, one of- Oh, man, that's a friendly fighter going down right there. The plane missed us, though, so we didn't take any damage that way. This is, honestly, when the planes are coming in, this is equally as exciting as attacking it. Which I'm very ple pleased with. Oh, God. I'm worried, though. Trying to make ourselves more difficult to hit. Oh, my God, that was- that was such- that was just expertly done. The bomber died, but since it respawns... See, and we need people on board that could be engineers, right? What if I... Oh, oh, I was gonna say, do we... That looks like... A bomber. Yeah, that's a heavy bomber. Medium bomber. I, I you know, I... Any... I use bo There's bomber, dive bomber, and fighter. I keep going in and out, I, I can't really, like, figure out... I guess, in context, it's the heavy bomber, but in, like, plane class... You'd call it a medium or light bomber. I mean, you know, I guess it's all relative. This ship is not looking good, but see, wouldn't it be cool? This is just like going well beyond the scope of what we have right now, but a boy can dream, can he? I had a dream. Is we could have like people who are engineering classes who would specialize in repairs. You know, maybe they they don't have as much advanced weaponry, but they're really good at repairing, and they can operate, you know, the guns. But, like, right now, I would be calling for, like, a drastic- oh, the, the ship in the rear. This- this forward ship and me- and the ship in the middle were not hit too hard. But, yeah, I would want engineers repairing these things right now. I would like an escort ship, like, if I had one destroyer, that just had, like, an um, some amazing, amazing anti-aircraft guns. You know, because right now we have, like, we have modest anti-aircraft guns against, 
you know, one one plane at a time, we could easily handle it. But when there's multiples, that's that brings in the problem. That ship right above my right antenna right now, or my right mast. I don't know what to call it. Ship thing. Ship post. Hi, right above the ship post. That is the medium bomber coming back. And you can hear the deck gun, which has pretty good range, just cracking away. I think there he's going for that last ship. Uh we'll see if he survives it. He's not I think his flat gunners might be taken out. Oh, he's gone. He's gone, we lost one. But I think No, this is tough. Oh man, we lost a good ship. Yeah, I think I think adding an escort ship may be just enough. And it'd be cool if like there was a flag point up there that like a mini airfield that you could send little boats to take a and so there would be two two things happening. The late the long game is the ships have to get to the convoy. Oh god, this is bad. All right, we're turning profile. See, when you don't move, it's easy to get hit. And since I've lost somehow, I don't know how it happened, but I lost Oh shoot. Those are dive bombers. Ooh! Oh, it looked like it still hit. I think- Oh no! That dive bomber's gonna get free reign. Yeah, so, flight models for the planes and damage models. I mean, this is if- let's write the dream list. Flight models and damage models, so planes fly how they would historically. They're damaged, so it's not like you, you lose a certain amount of hit points. It's like, if you lose your right wing, you're going down. Um, you can go back to the airfield, repair. Or you could land maybe out in the middle of a field, and then an engineer could meet you, right? Wouldn't that be sweet? Um, where you could actually stand on the boats, because right now this boat could carry like, I don't know, a couple hundred people. But wouldn't it be sweet if it at least had 12? You know, there'd be four people to run the um, turrets. Oh, we're making a hard right turn. I guess we are doing better. We have three still alive. I'm gonna wait for him to take his turn. Are you turning? Slowly? And so that's four. Then there's like one guy steering the ship, so that's five. So we have, like say we have seven more. Um, I'd want a few marines. Like maybe four marines and the rest would be like engineer and support crew. That first ship is looking pretty healthy. I'm the only one that's burning right now. Now I think- oh dude, the bombers are locked on. I see a medium bomber coming in, and it scares me because I don't have any fighter escort. Well, there's one, but he's not going to intercept. Unless he is right now. Oh, dude, look at the bomber going low. Look at the bomber flying low. This is straight out of a movie. He's getting strafed by supporting fighter. Oh, he's going down. He's going to crash into it. He flew right over it. Stop shooting the boat, gunner. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, so I want to I want to do a breakaway, but I got to stay like our greatest strength is each other, right? Oh no, the dive bomber's going and he got shot down early. Oh, the planes. Oh, there's the other dive bomber. Let's see, do I see any bombs going? Oh my god, the rear bomber or the excuse me, the rear transport ship is a flame right now. I do want to make it there. But Oh my god, one of our plane ran in <laughs> it flew in and hit oh see with the 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 frequency of enemy bombers coming in is just too much i think we might lose the second ship now uh those are misses those are misses i do like how the ai isn't just like flawless it can still miss i wish i could give command see right now i i Flag the other captain, be like, yo, could you slow down just a bit so we could get closer? And he probably like, are you kidding me? I gotta make it to the objective! They're bombing us! Our friends' heads are falling off! Dude, what if there were U-boats? Oh my god! Dude, stop shooting the friendly ship! I'm- I- I- I fear that my gunner might be the reason... That's some interesting maneuvers. Yeah, see, they- they shoot at the pilots. Maybe the pilot's like... Wouldn't it be cool? Like, man, I mean, if you're gonna go... Oh, here comes Dive Bomber. He looks like he's eyeing the front ship. My deck gun's shooting at him. My rear flag... Okay. There we go. Just opened up, but he was already going down. Now they're gonna... They're gonna focus some fire. I dare say, I even think that the front ship's machine gunners are still operational. I don't know how we lost ours early. So yeah, right now, crew of five, I'd like crew of 12, including a marine company. 
uh, com- accompaniment. So if there were, they could use small arms to fight, to shoot at uh, the enemy planes, as well as parachuting pilots in case anyone tried to Jason Bourne this. Oh, God. Okay, there's a medium bomber. I'm trying to figure out who he's eyeing. It looks like it's me. Uh, no. No, it's the front ship. Okay, come on. Take him down before he- Yes! We took him down before he was able to drop his bombs. Oh my god. He flew right over. This is working. This is nail-biting to me. Uh, I think- I think, like, you know how tabs- uh, my curiosity runs wild, my imagination, and I, like, I can just imagine so many things and so many scenarios happening. I love Ravenfield, and always have, and I've, it, it's always done the same thing. I don't think I've realized the potential of the game until it's met. Like, like I've, I've seen lots of potential, but this just so, showed me so much more. So much more. Alright, so while this is happening, let me read you a story. Oh god, as the dive bomber goes in, does he get taken out? No, he got his bombs away. They look like they hit, but the pl the ship is still okay. Whoa, 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 Tiger. Whoa, Tiger. Control your guns. Hold on. T With the onset of autumn, Sylvania's supply lines and Hetland are beginning to exceed their limits. Thanks to the rapidly widening front and the ever-present threat of the, let's see, the Hedic Royal Flying Service. To keep the invasion from grinding to an attritional crawl, the port at St. Liven, which we're trying to get right now, could enable the delivery of supplies by sea. The city remains in headache hands, I'm assuming that is blue, but heavy bombardment to clear them out could cost Sylvania much needed port facilities and infrastructure. The St. Liven garrison has thus found itself under siege, with land and sea routes hounded by the Sylvanian Army Air Corps. This is all written out on the Steam page for the mod. We're almost there, we're almost to the port. At the fortress turned air base of Airsog Island, Bressian aid convoy Aldivor L-17 is preparing to embark on the perilous final leg of their voyage to St. Liven. Each ship- oh, that's a- that's a bomber. Did he get his bombs off? Luckily he did not. Why are my gunners not targeting him? Yo, big boy, shoot him down. I do not want that thing flying back here and dropping some bombs on us. That looks like an enemy fighter, can't do too much, but it could- see, that's another thing that would be cool. So say a gunner gets taken out, one of the marines could be dispatched. I could send my marine to go take the forward gun, if they were able to just stand in kind of reserve. Oh, look at that. That fighter going to take out that- uh, oh, shoot. Whoa. Only two there were now, but now as we get closer to the island, they're gonna be able to come in quicker, and we're further from- oh god, we're- we're further from, uh, fighter support. This is the most dangerous part. We do have two fighters, they both cross, they're probably like saying, Hey man, we're outnumbered! We gotta do it! We gotta do it for our country! Oh, there's- there's the bomber too. There's the bomber lining up. I need- see, I would be screaming at my gunners right now. There we go. I don't know if maybe- oh no, those were misses. Those were misses. Oh, look at this guy cartwheeling! He cartwheeled over our ship! That would have done some significant structural damage to the bridge. And the, uh, oh god, the front ship is burning too. That means he's on his last two little blips. So let's say, last 20%. There's a bomber on the horizon. I can see him trying to line us up. There's a fighter taking- oh, that's one of ours. So I don't know where we go from here, I just- oh, no, 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 not me! He's- he's targeting the front ship. Fire! Fire! Maximize forward firepower! Your shots are terrible. Yes! We shot it down before the bombs went off. I don't think the plane hitting the ship hurts it. I hope not. To think. Okay. If you could- if you could not. If you could- if you could just not, that'd be just great. Can you not? That's a dive bomber high up. I can tell by the wings. He's got enough bombs to take either of us out in one hit. This is nail biting. Like, I, I, I'm nervous. I, I don't- I'm- I'm worried. Stop shooting at the fighter and shoot at the dangerous target. I would be just- Oh no! Where are those bombs hitting? Oh no! Guys, we're the last one. That ship's going down. It's- it's on fire. They can't contain- the fire control is just gone. The other dive bomber decided to drop his bombs at this guy. See, this is why I wish- Oh, that's a fighter, okay. I don't know if this is gonna work, but... 
What what's happening? Oh, those are the pilots. I don't see anything super dangerous on the her well, I see I see a medium bomber and a dive bomber. Maybe two dive bombers. Oh my god, those guys just exploded. Look at how little they look when you're when you're driving this big Liberty ship. So I'm gonna say if we I I'm 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 spamming W as if it makes me go faster. I'm gonna have no navigation room. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go necessarily. I could slam on the brakes. No! <laughs> they missed! He missed! Oh god, there's another one! Oh, but we made it! I can't go anymore. Everybody off the ship! It's gonna blow! What am I doing? I'm hovering! Oh, the pilots! Ah! We did it! I'm gonna say we did it, guys. We freaking did it. The convoy got there. I think the ship was actually supposed to go in the middle of the map, maybe? I don't know. Guys, whoo! This is the relief of St. Liven. Honestly, driving that ship was more nail-biting than most other gameplay I've had. Look at the, the dog fighting going on overhead. This is just the best mod ever. It's the best mod ever. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want more, let me know. If you want Fifth Smell and his team, I'm assuming there's a team. I mean, it's just so, it's just so good. To make more, please just spam the comments. Let him know. Go to his Steam page where the, the mod is and just be like, thank you so much. This is glorious. This is so good. It shows so much. It'd be cool to have it updated so where, like, there's maybe some amphibious landing craft that would come and to try to take this this giant facility here, this fortress island. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I, I don't- oh, I want to keep playing. I might- we might have to stream this one day. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.